And though I am not from Kalantir, this is certainly a bit more bloodthirsty. <laughs> <laughs> Long ago, the kingdom of Ulster was ruled by Ohaid. Now, Ohaid had many sons, but only one daughter. And her name was Asa, which means gentle one in our tongue. Now, when Asa came of age, she was sent to be fostered by 12 foster fathers. These 12 tutors would train her in music, diplomacy, and even the art of the sword. Now, she did visit her own family from time to time. And it was on the return from one such visit that she came over the ride and saw her foster home burn to the ground. She ran, screaming her foster father's name. But none answered. They and all their household lay slaughtered, their bodies charred. Ate, knelt, gnashed, shaken. But she did not cry. Instead, she rose. And she began to dig graves. She worked until her gentle hands blistered. The blisters cracked and wept. Until she was covered with her own blood and their ashes. And it was thus that she entered her father's hall. He said, My father, my foster fathers have been slain. Their wealth taken their cattle stolen, and their home burned to the ground. Alone, I buried them, and I demand justice. Her father said, my daughter, if you can tell me who the murderer was, I swear to you, he will be brought to justice. I found no one. I found no trace of him. Father said, My daughter, you know that under Breton law, I cannot try an unknown man. What would you have me do? Nessa said, Then I will do what you cannot. She turned to Paul. Twelve men were slaughtered in Ulster. Twelve men and all their kin. The reek of burning flesh still hung in the air when I found them. Twelve men's wives and children were slaughtered, cut down as they tried to escape. I will not stand meekly by while this murderer roams the land. I will not be idle. Like the Morgan, I will fly across this land. No man... No woman, no child who harbors them will be safe from my wrath. I will bathe this land in their blood, for I will not rest until vengeance is mine. Nessa left, silent all. One voice spoke after her. That one is no gentle child. She is Nessa, ungentle, as she was known from that day forth. She gathered a band of landless warriors, and they began raiding across all of Ireland, searching for the murderer. Some said a satirist had been the murderer. Others spoke of a druid. Still others said the Morgan herself had unleashed her wrath on that home. But none offered proof. So the raiding and the searching continued until her band was so wealthy and powerful that all five kingdoms feared that she would conduct open war against them. And so one day, when she was bathing in the river, she heard a voice behind her. Asa, daughter of Ohade, you have left your sword out of reach. She turned to find herself at sword point. If I call my men, they will kill you when you stand. The man said, that may be, but I will kill you first. Instead, I will offer you a compromise. I'll spare your life. I'll even tell you who killed your foster fathers on two conditions. The 
first condition is that you disband your warriors, cease your bloody vengeance quest, and agree to lawful judgment against him. Nessa said, you may as well kill me now. The man continued, my second condition is that you marry me. Nessa said, marry you? A man too much of a coward to face me in open combat. A man who does not tell me his name and may not even be of noble blood. You mock me. The man said, I am no coward. And I am of noble blood. And I have foreseen that if we marry, our child will be king of Ulster. Yes, I considered this for a moment and said, I might agree to that condition. If you swear that our marriage would be a marriage of equals. The stranger so swore, then said, but that still leaves my first condition. Nessa said nothing, merely glared at the man, who said, Asa, daughter of Ohain, I lose my patience. Our son will be the greatest king that Ulster has ever known. Make your decision. Fury. <laughs> Nessa smiled. You are a foolish man. I accept your terms. Mm -hmm. I swear by sacred oak and hawthorn that I will marry you in a marriage of equals. Disband my men and accept justice over vengeance. The stranger lowered his sword and said, I, Cathbad the Druid, am the murderer of your foster fathers. <laughs> <laughs>